The statement's execution plan is displayed as a tree diagram, where each node represents either an intermediate view or access to a data source. The most relevant parameters are displayed for each node on the query tree. Now let's look at how to do an execution trace in the Design Studio. Once executed the query, go to the Execution Trace tab of the Query Results window. This is where you see all the information available in the execution trace. The left-hand panel shows the query execution tree. The right-hand panel shows details for the selected node in the tree. The most important parameters are displayed for each node on the query execution tree. There are parameters such as the type of plan which is being applied, Types like execution plan or virtual plan will be displayed. The execution time of the query, which includes the start time, end time, and response time. Also, the number of rows retrieved will be displayed along with the state of the node, in this case, OK. Apart from that, when the optimizer uses different optimizations, only for execution plan nodes, those will be listed in the trace. Finally, when there is an error during the execution of a query, all the nodes on an invalid or incomplete state are marked in red. We'll see an example of this. By clicking on each node in the execution tree, you can see that different details appear on the right. For example, you can see the name of the node and the number of rows processed. You can expand the advanced sections to see the details. Note that there may be multiple nested advanced subsections. You can also save the trace or copy it to the clipboard using the top buttons, which makes it more easy to share the trace, for example, by email. Saving the trace creates a zip file. To view Save Trace Zip Files, we can use the Trace Viewer tool from the Tools menu. Now you can view and explore the trace as usual. As previously, we had seen the kind of information Execution Trace provides. After loading the trace, we could find the similar information related to the type of element, i.e., which is the type of view, base view, union, join, etc., or the type of data source, JDBC, JSON, etc., the execution time, number of rows received, advanced details related to the optimizations, etc.